Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How's it going, guys? A busy day. Uh, you had a busy day, Veronica? Yes, I have a busy day. Okay, yes. I had, I had, remember, past. Really, why? I, okay, uh, because tomorrow I have to uh, make or give a course or capacitation, I don't know. A training. A training, yeah, sorry. A training mm -hmm. about uh, first, I don't know, in English, uh, auxiliar psychology, first auxiliar, algo así, primero auxiliar psicológico. Okay, like first psychology, AIDS. Okay. Okay, first. AIDS. Okay, great. So, you're delivering the course. Hi, good evening, Alicia. Yeah. Okay, excellent. I have to make the presentation. <gasps> You have to do it tonight. Yeah, wow. before the class. Good luck. Thank don't, you. Don't worry, you will be fine. Good evening. How many hours is it? Good evening, Madeline. Good evening. Two hours. Uh, Two hours. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. And is it live or like this? Is, a video, is it a video conference? Yeah, it's a video conference. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There is something called Jeopardy. I don't know if you remember or, or you have heard of that. Let me see if I can get it for you really quick. Uh, there it is. Okay. 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 I'll do this with you uh, next week. I will use this tool next week. So with that, you can actually edit the fields. So for example, if I make a question, you can put the answer and uh, the participants can ask you, uh, you can ask the participants or they can tell you, I'm sorry, uh, for 400 points. Okay, ah, for, good. for 400 points, how you don't become crazy? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the answer. Okay. Yeah, Jeopardy. That's right. So okay. Thank you, teacher. Check it, Veronica. Try to, try to use a dynamic. Try to use a dynamic so people can get involved. Uh, nowadays, uh, the participative... Um, kind of classes are, are the best. I mean, it's better to have somebody very, you know, interacting with you, giving their own ideas. It's very useful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Max. Hi. Hi, Max. Good evening. How's it going? Fine. I was trying to, to finish some exercises on the platform. Excellent. Thank you. We will talk about that today in this class because you have to finish that during today and tomorrow finish all of the exercises on the platform up to the midterm exam it's very important okay let me see i said i didn't say hi to veronica yeah. good evening vero veronica good evening. yeah yeah <laughs> welcome <laughs> how how are you doing now how how are you doing? How is it going? How are you? Me? Oh, I said Vero. Yes, I'm sorry. You turned off the yeah. camera. Forget it. Arabella. <laughs> <laughs> Arabella, good evening. Good evening, all the people. <laughs> <laughs> great. I hope you're doing great. Elvis, good evening. Say hi. Good evening. How's good evening. it how's it going? And good, because I today is was a 
is a, <clears throat> a new job. Wait, today begin a new job, a new other position. Mm. I have my job. Oh, really? Congratulations. Yeah, okay. because it begin I study English, <laughs> but I like English, but I, I don't know. Uh, me cuesta. How do you say me cuesta mucho en How do you say it, guys? How do you say me cuesta in English? It's very difficult for me. Okay. Okay. It's very difficult for me. Thank you. Max. Welcome. You could say it's difficult for me, it's not easy for me, but try to be positive. I do my best. Always close. Okay. Always close uh, sentences with uh, negative sentences with a positive sentence. You know, like, uh, it's difficult for me, but I do my best. I do my best. I try a lot. I try really hard. Okay. Keep it up. Okay. Ninive, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's it going, Ninive? Fine, fine. Great. Oh, yes. A great day. It's a children great day. day. <laughs> oh, yes. Happy Children Day. Yes. Happy Children Day. Okay. Yes. Happy Children Day. Don't forget, children is the plural children. for child. Yeah. No, no yeah. es. No es at the end. Great. Okay. Hey, happy Children Day. That's great. Okay, guys. So let's start today. We're going to close unit three. Let's say that third uh, part of your course, which has to do with relative clauses. What is that? What is relative clauses? Anybody? You have an idea? I don't know. I know how to do this, but I can't explain it. Ah, come on, give me an example, Max. Relative clauses. You don't remember? I'm not sure yeah. right now. Uh, right now, I'm I'm feel like when I speak in Spanish, I use everything in Spanish, but I don't know how to how to call them in, in grammar. How to pull pull up the grammar? How to use the grammar? Well, start identifying identifying the tense that you're using. That's it. Try to identify the tense first. Okay. So yesterday we talked about opinions. We were using adjectives synonyms. Today we have relative clauses. What are relative clauses? It's very simple. I'll play the video for you first. This is very simple. And then we will discuss it. We will talk about it and we will do a lot of examples. Okay. So you can get it clear. Pay attention. Relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns. Who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Relative clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. Is used to join clauses. Okay, sorry, uh, the video is going very fast. I'm, 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 let me stop it there so you can see the example. He likes the woman who lives next door. He likes the woman. He likes the woman. He likes the woman who lives next door. 
So here's a relative clause. I will explain you a little bit more. Pay attention. Clause is about people. Which is used to join. And which is used to join clauses about things. It's a movie. First clause. Which we enjoy very much. I hope you're making sense by this point. Clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about. So that is used to join clauses about people or things. I bought a car that is very fast. Second example, she has a sister that is a writer. Mm -hmm. Okay. People and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with this following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad okay, so here you have two more examples. Can somebody try to continue or add a relative clause? Brad Pitt is an actor who stars in a gladiator movie. In, in gladiator. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. Brad it's... Pitt is an actor. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's a gladiator mm, in a movie. No, it's two separate sentences. They are not related. Mm. The two sentences are not related, Max. Oh. See, was sorry. Trying yeah, to sorry. Relate. <laughs> I know. But, but, okay. but you were right. Brad Continue. Pitt is an actor. Uh -huh. who... Brad Pitt is an actor who got married with. I can't remember the name of that actress. Uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, who Angelina. got married with Angelina Mar Jolie. An Angelina Jolie, oh, yeah, my ex-girlfriend, I know. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Max. That's right. Who got married is the actor. I will have said in your example, Brad Pitt is the actor who got married with Angelina Jolie. That sounds better, right? Be specific. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, because you're being specific. Be specific because we're speaking about the actor. The actor, that's right. Okay, great the job. The actor, sir. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay, someone else, give me a second example. Gladiator is a movie. That win an Oscar. That won an Oscar, very won. good. That won an Oscar. Uh -huh. Someone else, Gladiator is a movie. <coughs> Someone else. Hello, Alicia. Madeline, what are you? Gladiator is a movie that... Oh, sorry. Continue. Okay, thank you. Gladiator is a movie that is amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, Gladiator is a movie that's amazing. Okay, great job, Alicia. Someone else. Nope. Okay. So by now you might have um, gotten an idea. You might have gotten an idea of what, which, who, that. What's the other one? It's just three, right? Let me find it. There you go. Which, which, who, that, which, which. that, who, that, which, that. So you might have the idea of what's the meaning of these four words in Spanish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who means quien? Which means el cual or lo cual. And that means que? Mm, yes, in general, but all of okay. this, all of those relative clauses mean the same thing, Max. Que? Oh, yeah, yes. But to use that with a person is kind of informal, I, I think. I think so, too. Very good, Max. Great job. Uh, that's right. Uh, that is more for things from my perspective, the way I learned it. That is more for things. Who is for people. 
Okay, yeah. and there are some missing here. We also have what, we also have where. Whom. Whom. Mm -hmm. Whom. El hombre que vendió el mundo. Uh -huh. The man who sold the world. <laughs> Very good, Nirvana. That's right. Who's? The man who sold the world. No, I mean, who's is missing there too. Oh, who's, yeah, who's. Okay, where, when, but it, it's all depend. It all depends on the, on the context. So let's build some examples. Come on. You have a question? Any questions? I see you. I, I cannot see you guys. Okay, let's see. Questions. Okay. Let's say it's clear, teacher. It's clear? Yes. Veronica? Yes, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, can you give me an example, please? Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, Nayib Bukele? Mm -hmm. Who? who are, yeah, okay. Who is the president of El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Who is uh -huh. the president? Ah, no, because it sounds we, like you have to, to continue. To... Okay, let me uh, give yeah. you. Yeah, let's no. see. Uh, Nayib is the president who changed El Salvador. <laughs> don't hate me, no, don't hate me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Okay. Don't hate me, come on. Okay, hold on. That's just an example. Naive is the president who changed El Salvador. Now, based on the example too, we can say that changed El Salvador. And have to, we have to use the past, the, the form. Hmm. You know, what do you think? It's not necessary, it depends. No, depends on the, oh. on the context. The man standing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the man that is standing. The man who is standing. Okay, the man that is standing out there. The man that is standing there. Now let's say, let's say, uh, and yes, past is like more used with with these examples, more appropriate, I will say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. You remember the girl who I talked to you about? Okay, do you remember mm -hmm. the girl who I talked to you about? Ah. I, the, the girl that I told you about is more, that, that sounds better, listen. Do you remember the girl that I told you about? You see? Yeah. The girl. It makes, it makes you sounds better. Mm hmm That I told you about. Okay. Uh, they could reply, the one who married your friend. The one who married your friend. So what's the meaning of who, that, in this context, which? All of these words mean the same thing. Yes. What, teacher? It's on the Do chat. You remember the girl who... Okay. 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 Ah, okay. It's Not the same th meaning for the three words. The th four. The four words in this context, uh, Alicia, mean the same. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. okay, I need one example from each of you. Give me an example, each one of you. Alicia, let's start with you, then we go with Madeline, Max. Okay. Do your best, Max. Show me what you got. Um, <laughs> okay. That is the man whose car was stolen. Perfect. Is That's that correct? 
Yeah, that is correct. That's yep. the man whose car was stolen. Now you're using W-H-O-S-E, whose. Yeah. Good job. Uh-huh, Alicia? Alicia mm. Keys? <laughs> mm. This flower that I found it is beautiful. This flower that I found. Ah, this okay. flower that I found is beautiful. Perfect. This flower, you have it on your hand, right? Okay. This flower that I found is beautiful. Perfect. Madeline. Your microphone. I can hear you. I can hear you well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm okay. trying to understand, but. Are okay. you reading my lips? Yes. Okay. That's great. With that, with, with that, mm -hmm. for example, with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then. Uh, the boy that you that you told me uh, is my best friend. Perfect, easy, yes. excellent. Thank you, Madeline. You're okay. guy, you guys are amazing. I mean, you already know all this. Okay, uh, Jonathan Rodriguez. Um, Adolfo. Adolfo, 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 right? And it says Jonathan Rodriguez on your name. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, short uh, sentences is uh, this is that you need this is what you need what you need <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's another example that's what i was telling you what who where who? perfect okay this is okay. what you need this, <laughs> this is, is what you need. need make it a question because that's an affirmation what, what is what did you not what is it what you need this is what you need <laughs> This is no, what you need. Okay, I like that, that sentence actually. Okay, let me write it. This is what you need. Okay, now you can ask, is this what you need? Okay, that's a question. Is this what you need? Okay. The first one is the affirmation, the second one is a question. Good job. Okay, let's go with Elvis. Yes, that the person who bought me a, a gear. Okay, I like that. That's the person who bought me a gift. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's go with Inive. Um, the COVID-19 is the virus that changes our habits. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, the COVID-19 is the virus that changed... What do you say? Um, that changed habits. Our, our habits. habits. Our, our, our habits. Our habits. Our habits. <laughs> our, our, it's like an R, our habits. Okay. Now I oh. will, I will remove, I will remove the article and I will say COVID-19 is the virus that changed our habits. Oh. <laughs> COVID-19, yeah. Without the, the. Very good. Great job. Okay, Oscar. Okay. Uh... The movie which I saw was amazing. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? The movie which I saw. Does that sound better, the movie that I saw? It sounds better. It sounds better, right? The movie that better. Both, the both movie are, better. Both are correct mm -hmm. grammatically. Correct. Grammatically, both are correct. Uh, okay. Always listen to yourself, Oscar. What sounds better? Which or that in that case? That I saw, that I saw, that I saw. Okay, which I saw. Yeah. Okay, 
Let's go with Veronica. Me again. <laughs> okay. Uh, the computer which I both was. Only that. The computer. Okay, oh, so why? this is the computer which I bought or the computer which I bought. And again, the computer that I bought, that I, that I bought. Did I, did I, did I? Sounds better. The computer that I bought. The I computer, see. the computer that I bought. Now remember that you need a second clause. A second clause. Uh, what else could you say? The computer that I bought has Windows 10. Okay. Okay. Is is occupied? Is occupied with a wireless mouse. Okay. Or was expensive? Was expensive. Perfect. The computer that I bought was expensive. Excellent. Who else is missing? Daniel, Patricia, and Abela. Um, is that guy who was your boyfriend? <laughs> oh, is that? Listen, the guy who was your boyfriend? Is that the guy who was your boyfriend? Is that the guy who was your boyfriend? Hmm. Very good. Okay, good example, Daniel. Patricia, Aravela. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Shakira is a singer who lives in Colombia. Perfect. Colombia or Colombia? Colombia, right? Colombia. Uh -huh. Shakira is a singer who lives in Colombia. Okay, yes. and last but not least, Arabella? Uh, who, uh, you are a teacher? Who, you, you are a teacher who teach Oh, oh, English. You, you heard me. Teacher. Okay, you are a teacher who teaches English. Yes. You're a teacher who teaches you are English. A teacher who teaches English. Yes. Th third person. Good. That's an example in person, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can somebody move the last sentence to future? Okay. Which sentence? The last one. You are, you are a teacher who teaches English. How do you move that sentence to future? You will be a teacher who will teach English. <laughs> Excellent. Or you are a teacher who hmm. will teach English. Very good. Simple. Okay. Can somebody use a modal? Use a model with the last sentence. Somebody else, Jonet, I mean, Alolfo. Well, Try to use a model with the last sentence. You are a teacher who teaches English. Um, you, is, you will be a teacher who teaches English. Mm -hmm. English. Now use a model like would, should, could. Uh, Ken, who, who is a teacher? Who is a teacher? Uh, who teach English? English. Who is a teacher who can teach English? Who can teach? Who, who okay. will who will teach English? Who is the teacher who will teach English? Who is the teacher who will teach English? Quien es el teacher que enseñaría inglés? Okay, good. Always, ese es un ejercicio que puedes hacer, Max. Me estaba diciendo para identificar las um, tiempos gramaticales, hallarle lógica a la estructura, agarra cualquier oración que veas y las vas cambiando. Ocupa diferentes tiempos gramaticales y te, te vas a quebrar la cabeza un buen rato a veces. I was Pero... thinking about it. You will, you will be a teacher who will teach English if you will uh, go if... to the university. 
Perfect. <laughs> yes, that's the I way you do it. Something like that. Excellent. That's the way you do it. Always challenge your brain. Okay, guys. So it's 827. Let's move on. Let's talk about your exams. Hmm. Wait a minute. Where is that thing? Here it is. Okay. So in this section, we already covered that part, relative clauses. So by now, by today, by this moment, you were supposed to be in 3.11, the reading exercise, the magic of Potter, the magic of Potter. <laughs> okay, read this little article and then answer these questions. It's just a drop down where you can find the paragraphs. <laughs> now today, and by the way, do you have any questions with any of the exercises? Teacher, I had a problem with the last exercise of reading comprehension about the prodigy children, children, because you you helped me and and the last answer it was wrong always. Let's check because this this mm -hmm. you already did this. Yes, this, you, everyone is supposed to have completed mm -hmm. these exercises. So who works, whose work has Alexandra's been compared to? Mm -hmm. What was the answer? Uh, that's, Picasso and... that's Picasso, but mm -hmm. if I uh, write Picasso, it's wrong, and Picasso's work, wrong, and Picasso, another artist, wrong. <laughs> I don't okay. know how. So the answer here happened. was just Picasso. Was it double C? Yeah, no, mm -hmm. one C, okay. Picasso, period. Let's mm -hmm. see, short answers. No, okay. So what's the answer? Mm. Whose work has Alexandra has been compared to? Let's see. Oh, what about Picasso? So how, let's put a, a possessive. Picasso's. There you go. That's the answer, Picasso's. Mm, ah, okay. You Thank just give you. it. I didn't even. I didn't. Only look, the, look. The apostrophe. Yeah, this is complicated. Mm, I know. I know, guys. Okay. Sorry, but let. Mm. I see. haven't answered it yet. See, you haven't Peter, answered. I got a problem. No, I haven't. I got a problem with the platform, or I don't know what it is. But in, in, in some videos at the end, um, that woman asked students to. To participate to on write the forum? something, mm -hmm. no, to write something on the on the box. I don't know how how she called it. In the forum, it. in the forum, the discussion yeah, but, forum. Mm -hmm. But below the video, there's nothing to to write on. There's you, no. You don't see the discussion forum, Max. So here you have the video, right? Yeah. And here, if you scroll down, this is a discussion forum. Yeah, I have. I have wrote on, I have written on some discussion box, but box. on some videos, she uh -huh. asked to write on the discussion box, mm -hmm. but there is no discussion box. You don't see the discussion. Are you using your cell phone or the computer? Uh, I, I use the computer to do that. Mm. And Google Chrome. Mm. I'm using my computer and Google Chrome too. That's really weird. That is really weird. Okay, we'll check on that. Okay, you can send me a screenshot and we have we can have somebody from IT helping you, okay? So, um, um, yep, I will get back to you. I'll get back to you on that. Um, okay, so then make sure you complete all of this. Um, in this section on two, section two, you only had one, two, and three little short quizzes, you know. This one was uh, multiple selection, okay? And the last one was read the reading exercise that we did. So here was Picasso's, Alicia. 
Okay. Thank you, teacher. I will I will correct this answer. Yeah, let's let's check out those. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you encounter any problem, number one, remember you can text me. Number two, you can do as many attempts as you want. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Okay? okay. Always try. Try to get the okay. best score. Because the passing score, the passing score is 80%. Okay. That's very important. And okay. teacher, we, we, can we um, add any question in the post? Because in, in the platform, uh, there is uh, um, a topics uh, oh. empty. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, guys, as I told you before, please mm -hmm. help me. Okay, always okay. help me if you see that this is empty, go here, add, okay. a, add a I post, will. you I can add, add a question mm -hmm. or start a discussion. A discussion, okay. Then you add a title. In this case, the title for this one was what's playing, okay? Mm -hmm. What's playing, okay. And then you, you make the question or your comment. Okay, okay, I and will do it. Submit. Okay, let's go with the next one. And you have, what is this? Johnny Depp, I'm sorry, Johnny Depp is a very, what is it? Amazing. Amazing actor, amazing. right? It's a very amazing actor, okay. I find animated films. Amusing. Amusing, very good. I'm not. Interesting. I'm not interesting. You are, interesting. Veronica. You are interesting, Veronica. If you say I'm not interesting, <laughs> yeah, you got it, right? You got it. I'm not interesting. I don't know why. I'm not interesting. Okay. Oh, no. I'm not no, interested. Interesting. <laughs> interested. Interesting. In science fiction movies. Be careful. Be careful because you can you know get confused a okay. gringo uh, you know be careful if you, yeah, ever, okay. <laughs> if you ever met brad pitt on the street veronica <laughs> like, i'm not interested <laughs> i'm sorry okay. okay good i won't tell you <laughs> okay i'm bored or i'm boring by watching I'm television bored. i'm bored what is it i'm, I'm bored i'm bored, I'm bored. 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 I'm bored. bored by watching television. Bored by watching TV. Oh. Here is where the British comes to help. I will say I get bored by watching television. I'm get I get bored. I get bored by watching television. Listen, I get bored. I get bored by watching television. And yes, an American can say or could say. I'm bored by watching television, or I'm bored. bored. I'm bored of what is of watching television. Okay, I thought Jurassic Park was an. Um, I thought Jurassic exciting. Park was an excited. Mm, exciting, exciting book. Exciting book. What's the meaning of excite? Um, emocionante. Yeah, emocionante. Very good. Exciting. Um, happy. Exciting. Yeah, hyper. Very good. I'm. I'm fascinated by J.R.R. talking novels. Talking novels. I'm fascinated. Very good. Okay, and so on. So you. That's that's the only thing you had to do. Go checking each, each box. Do you yeah. have Do you have any questions with this? Bored, boring. I I think when I when no, I speak teacher. in my first um, in the first person, I okay. use a, a bored an example. But if you are speaking with the the things, the boring. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. It is boring. Yes, exactly. If, if you're talking about an emotion or a thing, it's with ING. Uh, it's boring. For example, 
the Johnny movie. Depp is a very amazing actor. Amazing, uh, actor. Actor. Okay. Very good. Okay, Veronica. No, uh, it was another part, teacher. Okay, you need help with it's another not part. It's another. Uh -huh, it's another. It's another part. It's, okay. Yeah. Good. Let me know when we get there. So we will go part by part today, right now. So this is an audio, and you're supposed to listen to the audio. Let's listen to the audio, okay? Page 88. Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. Okay, so the first story talks about Stephen King's no. Yes. Okay. How do they describe it? Fascinating. Fascinating? Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they didn't say fascinating, right? No. They it's, say it's exciting. Fascinating. Excellent. Very good, Beatrice. Yeah, this was a, a an adjective, uh, a synonym, right? They use a synonym. Okay. Let's Couldn't go. get a couple of words there. Uh huh. Let's see. How did you about like about the, the prices? Well, yes. about the prices. Sir, uh, price. She, she mentioned something about the price, I believe, but I don't understand. Did you hear the question? How come? You heard? How come? Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep, and I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. Okay, how did they describe the second movie? The, the movie with Jim Carrey. Boring, right? Boring. What is Dub? I know, Dub. Dub. D-U-B, I think. Google it, Google it. I can't remember. Dub. It's not dumb. D-U-B. Yeah, let me see. No, Dub. So Dow, D A U B. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. I think it's dub. D U B E. It was a dub. D U B E. No, 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 Maybe? no. 
No. no. Dub. 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 I think it's dub. It was a dub. Hmm, let's see. I cannot find a word, then I go somewhere else. It was so dub. Dumb. Dumb? But he didn't say dumb. No. He said dub. Mm -hmm. ah. Don't think about that word. Hold on. Mm -hmm. What's Maybe. Dub? Yes, that, that's what it sounds to me. Dub, dub, dub. Oh. Now let's finish. It like it sounds like the soap. Dub. The soap, dub. Listen. Dub. Yeah. You heard? Dub. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Dub. Now, okay. New word. Let's see. So boring. Okay, the audio is gone. And the audio is gone. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, listen, and just in this case, select the proper adjective that best describes the situation. Then we had a filling in. Who who did this exercise? Three point ten. This is what we just did. Relative clauses. I, I did. You did? I haven't. Who's I? Veronica. Okay. Who is Ang Lee? Yeah. He's a movie director. He made the film uh, Hawk. Director. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He's a movie director who made the film Hawk. <laughs> director. Teacher, this is the homework for this topic of today. Uh huh. For okay. today's topic, let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, there you go, Veronica. That's right. Very the good. The pronunciation is director. Great job, director, direct, director, 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 director. Both forms are correct. I will say so. Okay. Remember the tool that I gave you, the juglish. Yeah. Okay. I have been using it a lot lately. <laughs> Be careful with the accent that you select. US. US or UK. No, UK no. Either, or because they you say what are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So you got it? This is what you're supposed to do. Let's go. And this is what we saw today. It's not complicated. Um, the last exercise is a reading exercise, as I mentioned. I don't get it. It says, let's see, read the article. Where do these sentences belong? Choose the number of the paragraph where each sentence could go. Hmm. What's the number of the paragraph? So she hated going to school, but always loved to read. Okay, so this is a little bit more complicated because you will be looking for this sentence let me make it bigger. We will be looking for this sentence on the reading, but pay attention. They are asking you to put this sentence. Where will it go better? Let's see. School. School. Going to school is a letter L. Letter L at the end. Yes, I know. We're missing. We're missing the L. Thank you. That is correct. So, el punto aquí es, ¿en qué párrafo encajaría bien la siguiente frase? That's the point. So, there was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventures of this extraordinary student at Howard's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, wizardry, wizardry are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomena, 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 phenomena. Uh -huh. not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. So she hated going to school. I think, school. I think, listen, the first, so, 
It's not it, the first one. It's not the first, first one, right? No. No, because first of all, they're saying she, and they're only talking about who here? They're only talking about Harry here, right? I believe I believe it's the second paragraph. Me it's, too. It's the second paragraph. It's the second yes, paragraph, right? It's the second. Where mm -hmm. will it match? Let's see. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 1965. From a young age, she knew she wanted to be a writer. When Maybe she not. was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she At used to school. make up stories to tell her friends. Tell her friends. Mm. It doesn't sound like she, she didn't like school, but uh -huh. it says that she wasted her time at school instead of being studying. Where? She oh, she, 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 she used to make up stories instead of, instead of being studying. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good. So that's, the, that's your mission. You have to read the article and try to match each one of the sentences on each one of the paragraph. If you notice, it says number three, so it will be number three, paragraph number three, and so on. As simple as that. Okay. Questions? Oh, no. No, no questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, pay attention. Pay attention. If you click next, after 3.11, you click next, and this is your midterm mm -hmm. exam. So by tomorrow, you should have finished this exam. It is one, two, three, four, five. I believe you have until midnight tomorrow. Let me check something really quick. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me see if administration is with us today. <laughs> We have somebody from administration here. No, we have nobody from admin here. Oh yeah, oh no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my camera? Yeah, my camera is on, okay. Uh, jo yeah, Jonathan is here. Jonathan, can you hear us? Yes. Hola, Jonathan, buenas noches. Eh, ¿Nos podrías decir hasta qué hora se tiene para realizar el examen midterm? No, no sé. No, 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 me equivoqué. No eres tú, Jonathan, perdón. Oh, yo soy Adolfo. Yo soy Adolfo. <laughs> como Jonathan, I'm sorry. Okay, so no, we don't have anybody from administration, but typically you have until midnight on Friday. Okay, okay so let's do that. Ahora, espero que terminen todo, o sea, todos esos ejercicios. Let's go one by one. Eh, English or Spanish? English. English? Okay, good. To, to do Thank what? You. Uh, to, for me to speak. Oh. Okay. So, listen. The first exercise is the same thing. It's a listening exercise. Estos exámenes se parecen al TOEIC. Les aviso. Todos estos ejercicios son idénticos al TOEIC test. Que es una certificación buenísima. Okay. So, let's see. You click on the audio, and again, you have the questions, the Egyptian pyramids. Let's see, really quick. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of Me course. Too. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Okay, so what happened with the pyramids? Be careful. Because you can think that they are talking about the Egyptians. They're talking about the Egyptian pyramids. What happened with the Egyptian pyramids? They were built by Napoleon? No, no right? 
are buried not in sand. No. They're buried, buried mm -hmm. in sand. They are buried, 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 buried in, sand. in sand. Very good. Okay, and so on, guys. That's as simple as that. In fact, many exams, many tests are just logic. Logic and, and finding sense to the sentences, right? making sense to the sentences. Okay, second exercise, rewriting sentences. Uh-oh. So here you have rewriting sentences. Rewrite the sentences as passive sentences with by. Follow the example. Prince recorded the song Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Yep. And then the song Purple Rain was recorded by Prince. Prince. Oh. Remember? Yes. Passive voice. Give me an example, Beatriz. Thank you for participating tonight. <laughs> George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. The Star Wars movies by directed. Okay. Uh huh. For your George Lucas. <laughs> Lazy teacher. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Sorry. Um, so I will say Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas. Am I missing something? The Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas. Okay. Am I missing something? Okay, I have a capital letter here. Maybe right. a period at the end. A period. Mm -hmm. ding, 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 ding. Ding, Let's ding. see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Keep checking. Oh. Hmm. What's going on here? What's going on here? Let's see. Without the period. Without the period. No. Hmm. What's wrong down here? Where? The no, mm -hmm. there's there's no space. There's no space here too. After by. Oh, yes, there it is. Okay, let me add the period because- An extra space. An extra that space. That was one of my big problems. You always. see, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that That's a common problem. Yes. When you, copy, yes. when you use copy paste, that's what happened. Exactly, yes. that's why I did it. I wanted you, I wanted you to see an example of a mistake. Be careful. Okay, Tim Barners Lee developed the World Wide Web. World Wide Web World. The WWW. World Wide Web. Okay. War. There you go. Practice with the W. World, what, okay, so world the, wide the World web. Wide Web. Uh-huh. Exactly. Was you got developed. it. You got it. <laughs> Was development. Was developed. 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 Bye. Bye. Okay, then we have completing sentences. Oh, come on. Multiple choice. Complete the sentences. Use the passive form of the verbs. Speak. That's easy. Spoken. Wait, Max. Wait. Uh -huh. Spoken. Okay. Adolfo. The Spanish and Portuguese. Poet. This one? Taught. 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 Be careful, yes. Okay, just be careful, okay? That's easy. That's very simple. Okay, let's go with circling the word. Hmm. What word? Choose the correct <laughs> word. Choose the correct word. One of the crops grown in Guatemala is? Coffee. Coffee. Totally. Coffee. Crops. Okay. Cattle is not crop. Is a crop? No. What is cattle? Crops no. cultivo. No. Yeah, crop is a cultivo, cattle right? Coffee. Ganado, maybe. I think cattle is ganado. Cattle is ganado. Cattle exactly. Is ganado Thank you, Max. 
shrimps are shrimps. Shrimp, yeah, come on. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Chickens are manufactured in California. How do you manufacture a chicken? Micro and sheep. <laughs> Micro and sheep. <laughs> Oysters. Uh huh. Oysters. Yeah. Microchips. Thank you. Okay, you got it. I'm not going to continue because we are not going to answer the exam <laughs> with me here right now. No. Okay. You have to do it. And the last one is the last reading exercise. Okay, so you go read the mm -hmm. article, then choose the correct answers. Same thing. Okay. okay? So now I'm leaving you. Please okay. do all this until, well, all these five exercises on the midterm exam. Ok. 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 Teacher. Ahorita voy a una clase por si me escriben y no les contesto porque estoy en la otra clase. Ok. okay. No, teacher. Bye bye. Thank, you Thank you for all. Bye. Good night. Thank you for all. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, yeah. Bye bye.